everybody. Welcome to another exciting edition of Omni Bros Live on a Thursday night. It's your boy Geo here urging you to vote for the Inhumans so they can get a freaking omnibus published. Uh, that is in relation to uh, the Tiger Eyes poll that was published on the Marvel's most wanted Omnis. So with peace and love, ignore everything else because everybody else has enough books Vote for the Inhumans. You got six choices, and I think you got until Friday, April 5th. Thank you so much to our wonderful mod, James. Uh, that's the link down below. You click on it and, and, and uh, vote. You got 10 choices, and if you can spare one of those 10 picks for your boy here for the Inhumans, we can uh, send a message that the Inhumans do, in fact, need an omnibus. So that is my long-ass introduction. And I am joined by my two lovely co-hosts. I did not know we were going to have a full show, and I am so happy and excited about that. Uh, Colleen, how you doing? Welcome back. Doing good. Good to be here. That's cool. <laughs> my favorite day. <laughs> the day we get to laugh at all the ridiculous covers. My favorite uh, day. It's therapy for us, you know? Therapy and Thursday. <laughs> The top G man himself, the insufferable omnibus collector, pro G golfer extraordinaire, pee pee poo poo man. How you doing, brother? Yeah, I got to change my thing to golf man because I am. Oh, I still have a hat on. <laughs> I am live with PGA Tour. Yeah. Man, it'd be great if we could do hats with Omni Bros next to that live. That'd be dope. That'd be funny. Yeah, um, but yeah I just with, got... our, with our shirts that say "Enemy of the Podcast." <laughs> enemy of the show <laughs> i um for the <laughs> audience i just got out of a uh a shoot day a, a, for the local golf tournament um that's awesome it was like a 14 hour day so i am exhausted but i i was like i gotta be there for the homies and for the people i i'm a man for the people wow. um, so yeah it was uh I, I don't, you might see nope. me on Sorry, TV accidentally got in the way of the camera. <laughs> it was, I was like, this dude hit the ball into the trees. On yeah. the, I'm like, damn, bro, do you know how to golf? Like, you're supposed to be a pro. And he had to hit it out of there. But my camera guy was like standing right in front of the dude where he's, hit. I'm like, is he going to hit it? At, I'm like, I duck. Cause I'm like I'm I'm I don't want to die. Ball so fast. Oh man, die! So I'm I'm like down behind my camera guy, and um, I get up as soon as I know like I'm safe, huh. and I, I didn't realize it, but like I got up and I was right in the line of sight. So like, if there's a shot somewhere of like, I don't even remember which uh, which golfer it was, but if there's a shot somewhere of me just like. Like looking like a like a gopher just or a prairie dog. <laughs> I want to see that. That's awesome. <laughs> so that was uh, my day, and I'm ready to talk about manga. Was it Bubba, yeah. Bubba Watson? <laughs> I, <love. laughs> I did like one of the first things I did. I was sitting there like, and I was just you know chatting with the camera guy, and and uh, I'm like, yeah, I I don't really watch much golf. Like it's just job. Like it's just work for me. And uh, we've watched the first round and he's like, so how was it for you? <laughs> or like, you know, like, what do you think? And I'm like, it's not very much like happy Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's a big golf guy. So I, uh, I know some of the names, not, not as much anymore, but Bubba Watson was like the one that I was always like, Bubba, I love his name. He's my there favorite. Is one dude that i don't remember who he was like who the name he was cheering was but we were trying to cross like to get to another hole so we could continue filming who we were following and this guy like walks one of the, the players walks out and a guy in the stands is like let's go big guy like he's like just like this very <laughs> rehearsed call out to the guy it was like let's go big john or whatever the hell it was let's get it listen like he said something that was and someone like one of the other people that was watching that we was like standing near where we were was like 
it sounded like he rehearsed that to himself in the mirror. That was way really too like succinct the way that he yeah. said. Um, so yeah, it was it was fun. It was it was, it was funny. I'm going through the list because I think I found the one. One of the names I recognized was Andrew Novak. No idea. But I do know where you can find great deals on fantastic books. That is, of course, our wonderful sponsor, making tonight's broadcast happen, InStockTrades.com, your home for all things collected editions. You get your omnibus, trade paperback, hardcovers, manga, and so much more for great deals that range from 42% to 50%, 60% off at times. It's crazy over there. you got to check out InStockTrades.com. If you make an order of 50 bucks or more in the U.S., you get free shipping. Then you got the loyalty discount, with, which adds an extra 2% off when you order on a week-by-week basis. You're not going to get that anywhere else. You get it at InStockTrades.com. Great packaging, wonderful customer service, only when you visit our sponsor. Proud uh, sponsor for many years here on the Omnibus Collectors Network, Omnibros Live on a Thursday. So let me show you guys the website, of course. And I have a broken monitor right now, so this is really oh. uncomfortable. I do apologize. I'm going to try my best to scroll, look at the chat, and look at my uh, panel of uh, co-hosts. There we go. Okay, so some of the deals of the week, which will change next Tuesday. You got that Batman Superman World's Finest, 50% off. You got Birds of Prey at 50% off. You got the JL Ape Complete Collection, 50% off. Oh, boy. Uh, and the Marvel Masterworks Uncanny X-Men Hardcover Volume 16, 46% off. And yes, this is also out right there. A Condition <laughs> of Love, 35% off. And a whole bunch of other wonderful books at great discounts only when you visit InStockTrades.com. Here are the top sellers. Real quick. And of course, the sales you click on here, for example, let's go to the manga sale real quick. Haven't done that in a while. And look at that. You can already find Blood Blade, which came out uh, a couple weeks ago for 75% off volume one. Uh, there's a video on my channel where I talk about it if you want to learn more uh, about Blood Blade. Or, hey, look at that. Coincidence? I think not. Uh, Creature uh, Girls Hands On Field Journal. Volume three. What are the odds? We were Destiny. just we were talking about this in the green room before going live. Uh, some go go loser ranger, heart gear, king's proposal. Heart gear just came out. What the hell? <laughs> heart gear and Kowloon, volume six. Yeah, those are brand off. new and they're already damn. I need to check those uh sales more often. Well, I buy uh, every first week they're out, so it probably wouldn't yield any good results for me anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Promise Neverland. Well, Promise Neverland's been there for a while. Uh, Some Avengers. Sugumi Project. Twilight, the manga adaptation. Oh, God. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lower it even more. Give it for like 99 cents. Maybe somebody will bite. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, there's a couple deals there. But regardless, your job, folks watching at home, is to check out InStockTrades.com. We would really appreciate it. Uh, let me stop my screen there. There we go. Uh, a couple comments here before we continue with the main topic. We got previews tonight. All the cool stuff coming out in April. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a comment here, uh, and I lost it, of course. Well, not oh. Ever oh, here it is. Our uh, wonderful mod, Josh. I think this is a big month for my shelves and manga. There are a couple high-profile releases in April that we're going to talk about. Hopefully, they are not delayed. And do come out. Uh, let's see. Evening Omni Bros. True Graphic. Thank you for joining. Doing all right. Tired. It was a very slow, boring day, but uh, it's all right. I wish my day was slower and more boring. <laughs> but you were at a golf tournament. As someone who I I watched more golf today than I've ever watched in my entire life. That was a golf burn, because golf is slow and boring. Slow. Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry <laughs> anyone that enjoys golf, but like, I, I'm like, where did where 
where'd it go? Oh, there it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't follow it. Like, I, I don't know if I... I know they there's glasses, those like blue glasses that are supposed to make the ball more vivid. And I was mm-hmm. like, maybe if I wear my blue sunglasses tomorrow, because I did forget to bring sunglasses. But I'm my the the and the camera guys are so like they follow it like they just know they it's like second nature. I'm like, I will never have that skill, my guy. You you know what I do like? Uh this is not a transition. Uh, I do like um <laughs> Uh, we're, I'm late for that. Uh, golf video games. I do like playing those, even I like though I hate this ball. Golf. <laughs> Mario fun golf. golf. One. That one's fun. The I like the, the ones the... in the arcade where you do this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. those are fun. Yeah, those are fun. Uh, gold, golden tea or whatever. Mm-hmm. They also have a bowling one with the same mechanic from mm-hmm. the same uh, publisher. I can never. I'm never good at it, but just rolling a ball in place is always fun. <laughs> Uh, green, 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 we incarnated as a golf ball. That's going to be a new one. I Top five almost, golf manga. Wow. I almost posted a picture on my... Um... Of course, Warren likes golf. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I could have predicted that. I knew you were going to react like that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so anyway, I was before I was so rudely flabbergasted, um, I was going to post a picture on Twitter of me like with the hat, with the green behind me, and be like, I'm at the live action green, green, greens, but I just sent it to Discord instead. No, <laughs> I'm on uh, live action birdie wing. I'm on live action... Uh, Where's the Yuri? <laughs> that other... Man, was it birdie Robo- wing was whack. Uh, I enjoyed it, but that was crazy. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Was the, there was one another one in Shonen Jump? Was it the Robot X Laser Beam or Robot Laser Beam? I think was a golfing one as well. Rope, rope. Yes, That's... Robot X Laser Beam. You're right. I got it. That's what I think you should post. Yes, uh, not yesterday. Tomorrow, just but post the photo that you wanted to, but just say, "Where's the Yuri?" <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? It's for Birdie Wing. Birdie Wing. Yeah. The it's Yuri a, fans will get it. You'll get a bunch of Yuri followers. It's so, an anime about mafia, illegal sports betting, and uh, super moves on a golf tournament. Okay. <laughs> With Yuri. <laughs> just, just in front of the golf, say, where's the Yuri? And if you don't do it, I'll go find myself a golf course and do it myself. <laughs> uh... No, today is not that day. Yes. Uh, no, we're not going to get that. But thank you, Aria. <laughs> uh, started reading Delicious in Dungeon, but I'm having to try and do- dodge manga spoilers left and right like crazy. Hang in there. I, I believe in you. You can do it. Uh, have you had? Thank you so much for joining. Girlfriend's Child. Uh, new volume comes out in April, I think. Well, we're going to go over that in a couple minutes. Uh, <clears throat> true graphic novel. Now that I have all fourteen deluxe editions of Berserk, nice. Are there any other fantasy manga you can recommend? I particularly love fantasy stories that have all kinds of mythical and magical creatures. Uh, fantasies, uh, mythical, magical. I don't think they make those anymore. Uh, let's see. Let me think real quick. I would recommend. The uh, poetry of of Ran or poetry of Ran volume two comes out this month from Titan. That one, the first volume was really fun. Um, it has some that's similar- the last one too. It's only two volumes. Yes. Sorry, I really liked it. That's weird that it's only two volumes. They're not weird. Like that's fine, but I'm surprised that it's only. Does it say last volume on the thing? I didn't know that. I don't know. I don't. I didn't read the, yeah. the solicit, but I do know it's a last ball. It is. A, yeah, you're right. It does say it on the solicit too. <clears throat> uh, this may be a little controversial. Hang in there and keep an open mind. But if you like uh, fantasy stories with a bit of a dark edge, try watching, not reading. Uh, Made in Abyss. I did like the anime. But I do know, I do know what people think about the manga. So, but I like the show. What can I say? I'm weird. 
You weirdo. I know. I know. And then you should also check out <laughs> Creature Girl's hands-on journal. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Uh, what, what was it called? Creature... Uh, it's like Creature Girls, a hands-on field journal to no, another God. world or something. Creature Girls, a hands-on field journal. Yeah, that's one. Don't don't read that one uh, if you want good fantasy. No, do. Highly recommend. I I think you want peak fantasy. I I think you want that one. Yeah. Um. I don't know, uh, True Graphic, if you'd be up for some yokai goodness. Because that to me is like mythical and magical. Maybe try reading uh, if you can find it, uh, Mushishi or uh, I don't know, Gegege no Kitaro. That's my go-to. That's the goat. Even though that's not like exactly what you're asking for, because you just read Berserk. But oh. I'll keep thinking about new ones and, and mention them throughout the show. I always just completely my mind goes blank when people are like. Also, I, I, I'm tired as hell, so my mind's already blank. They're like, I like Berserk, what else? And I'm like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. My weak point as a content creator is the fact that I can't pull books off the top of my head right away, but people ask, like, five books you think I should read that are funny? I'm like, I don't know. But if it's text-based and, and you want me to write an answer, that I'm good. I can find you some <clears throat> recommendations. <clears throat> Speaking of uh, books, what did you all haul recently that you want to show the peeps? I'm ready. I'll go first. Thank you. First up, really? how about you? Volume five of the Eccentric Doctor of the Moonflower Kingdom. This is a nice. great series. If you like medical stuff, if you like uh, Grey's Anatomy. If you love Grey's Anatomy, it's an honor for you. Nice. Uh, then I also got Since I Could Die Tomorrow, Volume 2. Um, existential Manga, Volume 1, was a great thing to read and then go and sit and have an existential crisis about my life. Oh, no. Which <laughs> book? Uh, since I Could Die Tomorrow. Oh, I don't have that. I have that on my wish list. Should I read it? Uh, yeah, it's just like she's in her like 20s or 30s and starts thinking about like I'm gonna die eventually. Oh, no. Like I have to think about death and I'm like uh, I don't okay. want to do that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Complete opposite. I don't have to think about dying at all. <laughs> Honey Lemon Soda Volume 5. And then the goat, a condition called love. If you guys, if you guys have Crunchyroll, it's going to start airing on April 4th. Mm -hmm. Watch a condition called love. Talk about it. Say how much you love it. Buy anything related to it. So I can get a season two because it probably Thanks. won't happen. <laughs> well, you never know. It could happen. I, mean... I have no belief. Colleen yes. spoke to the powers that be, and they were like, mm, "Sorry, it's not happening." Yeah, Every, uh, have everything no belief, gets a, so. They all get season twos recently, except for what Let's I see. love. Uh, pee pee poo poo man. How about you? All right. Um, welcome back, Alice, Volume Six. I think seven's the last one. Yeah. Oregon. <laughs> Enemy of the show. Oregon Trail by Enemy of the Show Boichi. Um, Love's in sight, volume six. And this is not in sight. There we go. Now it's in sight. Uh, I think this one's 10, eight or 10 volumes. I don't remember, whatever it is. Spy Times Family 11. Equals. That, that People don't know, but that is a crossover uh, or a spinoff from Hunter x Hunter. That's why it has the X. <laughs> you got it. Thank Dark Father, <laughs> Volume 6. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. Maggie Lumiere, Magical Girls Incorporated. Heck yeah. I ordered that, but it hasn't arrived yet. Insomniacs After School. Number I five. ordered that, but it hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> 
any ad or how no, we pronounce it. That. Volume two, the mature hardcover edition. It's supposed to be a BL, but there's very little. There's a lot of Bs, but no L. There's like one slightly L scene where like it's not really a kiss, but it's like transferring oxygen to the other guy. But you know, you know. If you know, you know. Uh, hum un kulus. <laughs> this is the fourth out of five omnibus. Orb, omnibus two, I believe, out of four on the, yes. the movements of the earth. This is like if Jonathan Hickman did a manga. That is pretty accurate. Um, Sword of the Demon Hunter four. This is fun. I, I read that last night. I couldn't sleep and I read it. Um, I have two volumes of, I got one of these early from seven or sorry, Square Enix. And then the other one, um, I, I had a, an order lost in transit from, uh, right stuff or country roll. And I emailed them and even though they don't have the root insurance or whatever, uh -huh. they, I just sent, sent an email. I'm like, Hey, this said it was delivered. It was not, I never had an issue before. I've never seen something like this before. And they were like, um, Oh, we're so sorry. We're sending another order immediately. I was like, okay, cool. Nice. Um, another early one, Demons of the Shadow Realm 4, was sent to me by the kind yeah. folks, as well as this one uh, at Square Enix, Volume 14 of Soul Eater. Only three. That's more. what happened to the Lost Bond that got sent to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> yeah. Um, Honey Lemon Soda, Volume 5. Nice. Speaking of the Shadow Realm, here's Shadow's House, Volume 6. And the tiger won't eat the dr dragon yet. I had to. I had to know. I had to know. I it, ordered that as well, but it has not arrived. I'm curious to know if they eat each other. I. I just. That's not a euphemism. I'm sorry. What's going on? Delicious in dungeon. This is a little series that no one's ever heard of. Mm -hmm. Volume thirteen. The next volume is the last one. Uh, and then Coffee Moon Volume Five. I think I had a couple more that I got. I know I got Durkle Volume Two. Um, but I lent that out, so someone else is about to get the whole Durkle experience. Durkle. I think I Durkled. They prepare to be Durkled. Um, I think I got a couple of, I got like Gundam Thunderbolt and stuff, but they're all in a box, and I, I have, I don't feel like, they're right next to me. I just don't feel like fishing the other stuff out. This is the it's stuff. Okay. That's uh, more than enough for this stream. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need uh, any more, Riley. Oh, and, and Nana and Karu Volume 4. But this nope. is oh oh my gosh! I thought you were holding the full thing. I'm like, watch out! Okay, <laughs> gonna you don't me. want to show that on air. Uh, I got I got two monkeys. If you guys want to see two monkeys, I yeah. want to see just one. I don't want to see just two. one. Just one. I don't want to see two of them. All one. right, I'm gonna pick my favorite out of the two. One, Check one, out. one key monkey. Monkey. Okay, fine. I'll see the other one. <laughs> one of my favorite, my one of my all-time favorite uh, video game characters right here. I love Diddy Kong, and I got the Donkey Kong. Bigger monkey. <laughs> Bigger Don monkey. Kong. D. Yeah. Hey. Don't have to do it. <laughs> and it even comes with accessories. I got, I got some bananas, and I got the barrel too. He's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. Mm -hmm. He's lead back to kick some tail. <laughs> chicka, chicka, chick. What? Uh, there we go. No style. He's got no grace. This Kong has a funky face. Love it. Thank you so much. Okay. These are by uh, Jack Specific, by the way. Four inch line. Uh, the new four inch line, and they look amazing. I am gonna hunt for Samus next because she's my uh all time favorite uh video game character. So, Geo's ultimate waifu, yes. And I even have the freaking thing coming through the mail. The uh, it's not Prime One, what is it? First four figures, uh, the new Ooh. smaller Metroid statue thing. I, I ordered that. Actually, let me go into a rant. All right, hold on. Forget <laughs> the manga. Let me talk about this. Rant time. I decided to get that because uh, there was a big one. Colleen, do you know which one I'm talking about? Mm -mm. I can pull up a reference picture. Uh, let me let me do that while I talk. <laughs> a while ago, like four years ago, 
or five. I don't know. I can't do math. Uh, they released the first four figures Metroid statue, and it's Samus looking like a badass. Uh, Metroid statue. There we go. Let me share my screen here. I really wanted that. I didn't have the money for it or the way to order because it was, uh, wait a minute, it was this one right here. So a gigantic mm -hmm. statue, like 36 inches tall or something. And it was too expensive and it was sold out, whatever. I could get one, but it was through the aftermarket. Uh, instead of like 300 bucks, it was like 500 or something, whatever. And I lost it. This was one of my grail pieces that I really wanted. Metroid is one of my all-time favorite video games. Samus is one of my all-time favorite characters, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I missed it. And uh, they surprised everybody last year, a couple months ago, when they released a uh, smaller scaled version of this. I think the new one, I, I, I don't remember how tall it is. So I thought, all right, I'll, I'll order it. Uh, as soon as possible when it drops. Uh, it showed up on the website, placed the order. I have a credit card. It accepted the credit card. It went through and I said, all right, let's do a little payment plan, which was like three payments. I'm like, cool, I don't care, whatever. They have no problem taking my money. But then when the final payment arrived, uh, which was a couple, like two weeks ago or three weeks ago, all of a sudden, oh, declined. Uh, we suspect fraud or something. I'm like, what the hell is happening? So I called the bank and they're like, there's nothing here. It, there's no transaction. Nothing has happened. Uh, don't worry about it. Just tell them that it's okay. Nothing happened. There's no fraud thing. I'm like, okay, thank you. Just making sure I know nothing happened because I barely use that card at all. It's just for emergencies. And for this nerd, this was an emergency. I don't care. You can hate me all you want. Um, I called them back or no, sorry. I couldn't call them because they're in freaking Hong Kong. I'm not going to do that. I emailed them and the email said, we only answer from 5 PM Pacific time because they're in Hong Kong. So that would translate for me to 8 PM up until like two in the morning. Those are their business hours in Eastern standard time. That is insane. I'm not going to remember to email somebody at nine in the in the in the night, uh, in the evening. So uh, I, I did that through a couple of days, uh, going back and forth. I would send them an email, and then I would have to wait a full day to get a response. And they're like, "It still says fraud." I'm like, "There's my guy. There's nothing wrong." I opened the ticket, and I have explained everything that happened. And they didn't read it. They just replied, "Oh." This is what happened. I'm like, no, I just told you this did not happen. W what is happening? They couldn't say, I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to try again. I wrote to you on my last freaking email that I tried multiple times with, diff with a different card, and it still wouldn't go through. You would still neglect the payment. <sighs> Long story short, I had to borrow uh, uh, somebody's <laughs> credit card to oh do the final gosh. payment, and then it went through magically. So if the problem was the card, shouldn't it have it declined from the first initial payment? Why would you take two of them and and like cancel the final one? That, yeah. that is so weird to me. Anyway, long story short, uh, I, 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 I'm getting this. So I'm excited. <laughs> it should be arriving soon. Long story short, here's Samus. <laughs> yeah, Samus, uh, the goat, uh, this one, yeah, 11 inches tall. There you go. So this is the one I'm I'm getting lights up and everything. I am so excited. It should be shipping soon-ish. So maybe by next month I'll get it. Who knows? Fingers crossed. It happens. Because you never know. At the last second, they're like, oh, we can't deliver it. You have like the worst luck with that stuff. So I know. I, I'm crossing my fingers for you. <laughs> Thank you. An anti-geo conspiracy is afoot. Damn straight. Spud Boy, I love that cat. Is that from a movie or something? Jazz. Or is that your cat? What, 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 what's the story behind that kitty? Because Who is it, it this beautiful adorable. cat? Jazz. Jazz. Friend of the show, Jazz Cat. <laughs> we oh, sorry, Josh. DK is an ape. I, I apologize. But yeah, 
uh, the the uh, Jack specific Donkey Kong figures. You can find them for like fourteen bucks or something. I think they're a pretty good deal. Anyways, that's my haul. Oh, I did get one book. Hold on. I did get uh, this one, Sengoku Yoko Volume Six. And uh, excited to get this. I, I I am watching the anime, but then I realized I'm watching the show instead of reading the books. Then what's the point of me getting the books? So I pause the show. I'm not going to watch it anymore. I'm just going to focus on reading this, and eventually I'll come back and finish the show because it's still it is going to air into the next season. They're adapting the full thing in like 37 to 40 episodes. That's the only one I got. Sengoku Yoko. Woo! All right. <laughs> you have to jump through so many hoops. That's my life online, man. Also, thank you to Josh. He got me uh, Initial D, the Kino Kuniya version. Shipped it. Should be arriving soon. I'm excited for that, too. Let's go, nice. Josh. Uh, all righty. Let's do previews. There are a lot of books coming out. I will say that uh what do we always say psa uh, i'm gonna use the crunchyroll link because it's all there uh organized for us but that's not your go-to place we'll tell you about that later uh let me share my screen here no there we go okay so uh yes there are a lot of manga coming out in the month of april so let's do this thing First one on the list here, we got Rainbow Days, Volume 9. Uh, I don't know. Is, is this still ongoing, this series? No, it's been over since, like, 2016, 2017. Oh, Jesus, I'm late. <laughs> 15 volumes or something total. 16, okay. yeah. Is anyone reading this? Anyone in the chat reading this? I'm just very curious if anyone... Uh, is, is this real, chat? Chat, is this real? <laughs> Uh, next up, we got Quality Assurance in Another World, Volume 7. I don't know what's happening here, but I love these two characters. That's that's so funny to me. Little chunky boys. And Victoria's Electric Coffin, Volume 1. Interesting. I remember, to check I remember the synopsis being interesting, but I don't remember what the synopsis is. I got you, bro. But I like the, the title, Electric Coffin, either way. David Douglas wishes he'd never been born. What's the point of a slum boy enduring a miserable existence and ending up on death row? Victoria Frankenstein, a 13-year-old medical doctor, offers him a change of fate. Together, they can help people improve uh, the worth of Victoria's invention, the electric coffin. After David becomes uh, Eins, what kind of life will this second chance offer? You can find out in Electric Coffin Boogaloo, Volume 1, <laughs> when it comes out this month for next month frankenstein 2 electric coffin boogaloo <laughs> japan's longest day uh this is based on the novel about the end of world war ii this is not going to be a fun read so i i don't know if you guys want to read that but if you do cool cinderella closet volume five that one is going to be a fun read. <laughs> yes. Get this. Don't get that. Uh, we got our first omnibus of April, and that is that time. I got reincarnated as a slime volume one. I would be more hyped and excited if I didn't already own the series. I have, I'm up to date with it. But this is awesome. Uh, this is one of my favorite modern isekai. I can't recommend it enough. It's a it's it's fun. It's action packed. It's got good drawings, uh, and, and uh, it's homey as a slime. And he's uh, curing this other world of interspecies racism by bringing everybody together and creating a utopia society of different monsters, and they fight like other creatures and stuff. It's fun. It's, it's a cool time. Check it out. It's by Kodansha. I have the box sets, um, but I, I still need to read the, the actual books. So I'm debating like selling the box sets and getting these so that I'll read them as these come in. You are the omnibus collector. So mm -hmm. I would do that, honestly. Oh, that makes sense. It's crazy how that works. <laughs> and uh, in case you guys are collecting slime, 
the individual volumes are the same trim size as this omnibus, so you're not losing much, just more shelf space. Uh, also coming out, Tying the Knot with an Amagami Sister, Volume 4. Momo, the Blood Taker, Volume 8. And we were just talking about this, Poetry of Ran, or Ran, uh, So Far Away. Uh, here is Volume 2, the final one <laughs> for this story. Um, so, yeah, this is the last one. Also, How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, Volume 14. And somebody just showed this, Since I Could Die Tomorrow, Volume 2, from Tokyo Pop. Mm -mm. Malevolent Spirits, Mononogatari, Volume 6, and Volume 49 of Skip Beat. Let's go! So, Fairy Tale, Omnibus, Volume 3. This contains Volumes 7, 8, and 9 of that series. And uh, Bless, Volume 1. You got It Takes Two Tomorrow Two. Wait. It Takes Two it's Tomorrow two. 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 Volume 3. That's it, weird. As well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tomorrow, it will also take two. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, it will also take two. The day after today... It'll take two. As well. <laughs> uh, Marriage Talks in Volume 2 is coming out. That first one was a lot of fun. I got to say again. Oh, that oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the first volume of Marriage Talks was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, it Takes Two Tomorrow 2 is also fun, but in a different way. Uh, Momo, the blood take uh, covers always look great. And I, I read that right. I'm not crazy. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, I did. Momo the yeah, blood taker. Sorry, sorry. The, it's a haze right now with so many topics. Momo, there we go. Volume eight. <clears throat> okay, next one we got Tamon's B side, volume three, and the Kingdoms of Ruin, volume eight. Chat. Uh, anybody in the chat reading Kingdoms of Ruin? Because I tried watching the anime and it was atrocious. So let me know if the <laughs> manga is any good. I dislike the show so much. Uh, a manga that I'm excited for, Witch of Thistle Castle. I really enjoyed the first two volumes. I believe we got two more books coming out. I think it's up to volume five, the last one. So here we go. Witch of Thistle, Thistle Castle. Sorry. Wow. And by the grace of gods, volume 10. Acid Town, volume 5 from Tokyo Pop, and World's End Harem Fantasia, volume 11. This is more tame than the other one that uh, we talked about <laughs> on the before going live. Even though this one is more explicit than that one. Anyways, mm. uh, we got. Is This the Kind of Love I Want, Volume 2? And Sundome, Milky Way, Volume 9. Pretty interesting cover there. I don't like the title with the picture. Right? It sends Milky a mixed message. What, what's the Milky Way? <laughs> the galaxy, of course. Well, you'll have to find out. <laughs> Fun fact, in Spanish, the Milky Way galaxy is the Via Lactea which is very different. Or not. Lactate? The lactate way? La lactia as in, uh, yeah. Lactose, <laughs> lactate. I don't know. I don't know why I'm going off this tangent. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, Moriarty, The Patriot, Volume 15. And Nagahama, To Be or Not To Be? That is the question. Volume, or just a, no, it's a single volume. There we go. Welcome to Demon School, Irumakun, Volume 7. And uh, Naruto's kid has 19 volumes of his own story. Here's Volume 19 of Boruto. Volume 20 is the last one. I don't know if they're going to end it and then do Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, Volume 1, or if they're just going to do Boruto Volume 21. 
They don't want to do Boruto Shippuden? Well, that's a two blue vortex is basically just Boruto Shippuden. Okay, okay. The 20 is the last volume of pre Shippuden Boruto. Gotcha. Uh, please go home, Miss Akutsu, volume five. Wow. Five volumes, and she's still hanging out of that house. Please go home, Miss. Go home. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, <laughs> How I Met My Soulmate, volume two. Two big releases. You got Kimi no Todoke from me to you, Soulmate, Volume One, and uh, Tales of the Tendo Family, Volume One. Get this book; it's so good. I am really excited for Tendo Family. I will be picking that up. Let's go. This is by yeah One Piece Books, and this is by, uh, the other ones by Viz. I forgot to respond to Eric from One Piece whenever he emailed about that book. I didn't. <laughs> no, I, I like I took the time to be like, Colleen, did Eric email you? And you're like, yes. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure. And I didn't email him back. <laughs> Way to go. Uh, I'm not giving up mine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll buy it myself. It's fine. I just I forgot to say, yeah, go ahead and send me a copy. <laughs> Demon School. A theme. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is this? <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm thinking of uh, homie Ooh. here, Irumakun. Sorry. Uh, Demon Slayer, Kimetsu Academy. They're both school manga. Volume 2 and Case Closed, Volume 90. Getting closer to, the, to that uh, 100 volume release. Yay. They should hurry up and, and just release 10 volumes at once so we can get caught up. I think there's 102 right now in Japan. Did you know that Case Closed has music or sorry, the music from Case Closed is on the Taiko no Tatsujin games? I didn't, but I do know that uh, Cruel Angel Thesis is on there because I've played the hell yes. out of one on, on Tatsujin. Hell yeah. And same with uh, Demon Slayer, too. The music's on there. Uh, next up, we got I Married My Female Friend, Volume 2, and Immortal Hounds, Volume 7. I will point out that Hounds, this is the final volume of that one. Yo, what? what we that's, a, that's a weird... It took me a minute to understand what was happening. Yeah, I'm like... I think she's, like, twerking against the wall. Yes, and... and Tendrils are coming off her back, lower back, which are killing people. I don't know. Can you tell me which week that comes out? Sure. Uh, I, let me open the link because I don't know. Uh, we're still on the first week. Well, that's the second week. Second week. Sorry. There we go. We're on the second week. From Alien Books making their debut in the manga sphere. We got their first release, which we talked about a while ago, but here it is, finally. Fake Rebellion, Volume 1. And next to it, one of my other favorite isekai, Ascendance of a Bookworm, Part 3, Volume 1. I highly recommend this one. It's a lot of fun. Oh, my God. <clears throat> and something that came out of nowhere, and I totally forgot when it, uh, I don't think I even mentioned it on the show uh, last summer when it was first announced, Three Exorcism Siblings from Titan Manga. I I need this. It's awesome. It's about three siblings that take care of uh, yokai and demons and stuff. I'm like, okay, cool. Y you had me at that. And uh, I think it's a short series. I think it's like six or seven volumes total. So I will be grabbing this as well. And uh, we have Haruki Murakami stories, manga stories, volume two. This is a hardcover. So I think it's three total. The hardcover is like super oversized, like Western omnibus sized. Nice. Um, and the stories are intriguing. Like they're not bad. Um, the artwork is really interesting that they use. Check this out, real quick. Look at that. That's cool. I like it. You had me on the sword. 
Uh, it's about it's about somebody fighting Tengu and like dark rituals, monsters. Sold. I'm there. This is this is my my jam. Let's go to the next page. Yep. Nope. 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 There we go. Past the Monster Meat, my lady, Volume Three. I loved Volume One and Two. Can't wait to read Volume Three. And uh, this has critical acclaim. My girlfriend's child coming up, Volume Four. Fucking go. It is rather acclaimable. This does not have a claim, but the game is awesome, and it is Splatoon Three getting the uh, first volume of Splatlands Volume One. I was really itching to include this in my anticipated bond releases, just for the hell of it. But I'm like, ah, it's a, it's not as complex as some of the other books that should be hyped up, but it's fun. Splatoon, come on! Now. I love that game. Um, Medaka, I can't read this. Medaka Kuroiwa is impervious to my charms. Volume six. Chronicles of an Aristocrat, Reborn in Another World, Volume 9, and the final collector's edition, the final volume of uh, Marmalade Boy. Here we have Volume 5. This is by Seven Seas Entertainment. Oh, we have a new guest co-host. Pongo, yeah. hello. Yay. Hey. I thought someone else was about to join. I was like, who, who popped in? <laughs> Pongo did. <laughs> Like that one time when like Omar and Jess and like everyone popped in randomly. Uh, I do want to give a sneak peek for everybody watching. You might see those two again soon. Just saying. We're cooking something up behind the scenes. Let them cook. On the manga streams. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm planning a super duper episode that I did not inform my two co-hosts here until now. But oh. that's in the works. <laughs> Thanks, Gio. Yeah, I'm because I'm, I'm constructing like the perfect topic that everybody can participate. We can have some fun and all that. Uh, one of my most anticipated books, right there for the month of April, Dinosaur Sanctuary Volume Four. First Let's three go. volumes, phenomenal. Can't wait. Highly recommended. The best thing ever. Yes, it's like Jurassic Park. But good, <laughs> and and like uh, Animal Crossing, wholesomeness, Jurassic Crossing, yes. And next to it is Pokemon Sword and Shield Volume Nine. This is the cheaper version. The uh, the, the the what what? How do I call it? The um, it's not the Adventures manga. It's the same thing, but when it's the Adventures manga, you get uh, more chapters. <laughs> this is just like half of what an Adventures volume would be. It's a half volume. Yeah, just to add, not the full, sure. Adam, the beginning, volume seven, by Titan, and we got the second manga release of I think it was a total of four or five from Alien Books. We got Enroll Back, volume one, coming out. Crossplay Love Otaku X Punk Volume 8. Uh, this is related to Spy X Family and Hunter X Hunter, by the way. Keep that in mind. It's part of the X uh, universe. What about the Clamp Series X? That, like, what about the other Clamp Series X, 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 Holic? Those are the ones that started it all. Those are the, <laughs> the, like, the Iron Man of the oh, cinematic shit. universe. Whoa! <laughs> I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next to it is the Dungeon of Black Company, Volume 10. And pretty risque covers. We got We Started a Threesome, Volume 2. Good for them. And the we got a, an art book this month, Catherine, plus uh, the full body edition, Ultimate Art Portfolio Art Book. Yeah, let's go, Catherine. If you're a fan of the game and Atlas, uh, it is worth uh, picking up. I do like that game. It was a lot of fun. I concur. Eat My Isekai Life, Volume 12, and Sketchy, Volume 
one. Do you do we know how long sketchy is? It's too sketchy for me. I don't, but this if you guys are wondering, this is by Maki Hirochi. And uh, uh, it tells the story of Eiko finding finds herself coasting along, watching her 20s pass her by, work at the video rental store, uh, see her boyfriend repeat. Her days are becoming an indistinguishable, listless blur until she encounters a skateboarder practicing a trick, and she's a girl. For some reason, Eiko feels a, a pull towards the sport. Slowly, all the dreams and ambitions she gave up on and future she imagined for herself come flooding back, and Eiko resolves to change herself now before it's too late. But is it really too late to discover something new? I do want to read this. Sounds great. And despite what Kodansha would have you believe, it's not a Jose series. <laughs> it is a Seinen. Mm -hmm. Next up, we got Life with an Ordinary Guy who reincarnated into a total fantasy knockout, volume three. And Time Stop Hero. Volume 9. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Akane Banashi, Volume 5. And Windbreaker, Volume 5. Yeah, boy. Break that wind. <laughs> March Comes In Like a Lion, Volume 2. Uh, yeah. Depending on where you shop, you can find the dust jacket. Yes. Right? I'm going to mention that. I think they're going to... The Kentaro Mura dust jacket... Ah. They're gonna send some of it to the uh, to Kino, and then they're gonna have some available on their Twitter. So you you all should tweet, and uh, if you want it, get it, because it's a cool collectible, and it's a cool manga too. So uh, Shikimori's not just a cutie, Volume Sixteen. We got a Fairy Tale One Hundred Years Quest, Volume Fifteen. Uh, which is getting an anime soon, and Helsing, uh, the new edition, volume six. Four more to go, and you can own uh, the with the new translation in Tonkobon sized, not deluxe hardcover. Magicka Swordsman and Summoner, volume 17. I love her hat. I love oversized witch hats. Uh, the condemned villainess goes back in time and aims to become the ultimate villain. Volume one. Yes, volume one. The Ice Guy and the Cool Girl, volume four. I do recommend this one. It's a lot of fun. And uh, somebody showed this earlier on the stream, Demons of the Shadow Realm, volume four. That was me. I'm somebody. Another cool release. We got Engage, volume one. This is not safe for work. It has that parental advisory, explicit content. And something a lot of people are excited for. We got the third omnibus release of the month, The Fable, Volume 1, with a pretty cool cover. I'm sure, let me see how many volumes. I forgot. It's, they're two in ones, and there's 22, so it'll be 11 volumes. And the if you guys want to sample it, uh, the anime starting soon. You can watch that. If you like it, you can pick up the omnibus. And there's two spin-off manga. One no, no, don't do that. No, I want to do it. Sorry. No. Two spin-offs. No, do it! A single volume titled just the same, The Fable. It was just one volume. And then the second spin-off was The Second Contact. It was nine volumes. So if this first run is successful, I'm sure they'll license the rest of it as well. The uh, second one actually, uh, actually just ended last year. Cool. There you go. I hope the star of the manga is the bird, honestly. He's right there in the middle. The star of the manga is you. That's actually a Ratatouille situation where the bird is controlling him and he's not actually a good hitman. It's just the bird the whole time. I would love that. that that's amazing. Uh, Comey Can't Communicate, Volume 29. And Black or White, Volume 8. It's also explicit contents. 
Spoo. Spicy. Stop it. Dun Dun Dun, Volume 7. Riley, if you yawn more time. <laughs> I've slept I slept four hours last night and then I worked like 14 hours. I'm sorry. Turn away if you're gonna yawn. I'm trying to pay attention. I don't want to see your yawns. I'm engaged. I'm gonna yawn. I'm so engaged with what's going on. I'm like, hell yeah, manga. I don't need to be sleepy again. Ooh. How about Kakurio Bed and Breakfast for Spirits, Volume 9? That won't make you yawn. Nice. And you'll go to bed when reading this. But there's Dan Dan Dan. That's fun. Dan Dan. Uh, Captain Corinth, the Galactic Navy Officer Becomes an Adventurer, Volume 6. And the Reformation of the World as Overseen by a Realist Demon King, Volume 3. Heck yeah. Also coming out, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I was reincarnated as the 7th so I can take my time perfecting my magical ability volume 11. Whew. Uh, yeah. Cool. Oh, and she's got big personalities in that cover. Okay. <laughs> Good for her. Uh, the Do Over Damsel Conquers the Dragon Emperor volume 3. Big Percy's. Let's and go. Another high profile release that a lot of people are excited for. Snowball Including. Earth Volume One. Let's this go. was the one that made Colleen uh like fall out of their chair. Let's go. And like, next to it, something yeah. maybe not as exciting, but look at look at how happy this creature is. I'm jealous. Saint? No, I'm just a passing beast tamer. Volume three. Between cool. the two, you should pick a uh, uh, Snowball Earth. Uh, it kind of got similar colors going on, though. Right? Yeah. I do like the back cover for this. Uh, you know about the series more than I do. Who is this character right here? Uh, I do like the whole white hair, white eyelashes combo. I don't know if they meet her until, like, the end of volume one but it's like one of the one of the people who lives on earth after um the snowpocalypse happened nice orient volume 19 somehow this is still going and kasasan and yamada volume three i finally stopped reading orient i will say that yes. let's go <laughs> Uh, it's, I mean, if, if you guys love Orient, uh, please don't get mad at us. It's just, we, we don't like it at all. I tried reading it. Didn't like it. I tried the anime, did not like it. So there you go. Out of the like 16 or 17 volumes I read, there was maybe like four where I was like, oh yeah, this is pretty good. And then the rest, I was like, what the, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> What is happening? Why am I reading this? Why am I buying books? Uh, Bakemonogatari Volume 1. We're one volume away from having the complete set. And I am so behind. I have only I have like the first nine of these. So I need to get going with this. Uh, the Girl I Like Forgot Her Glasses Volume 9. I also had that one today. I do recommend the show as well for this one because the voice acting was really cute. So if you guys want to check it out, read it, watch it, whatever. But the the two characters here uh, were pretty cute from the anime. I kept pressing the 100 million year button and came out on top, volume 5. And from Tokyo Pop, we got Osan Idol, volume 8. Oh, God. You remember <laughs> this one? I, I do want to read the full title, sorry. It's a it's a shtick on the on the thing here on the show. Why are they covering uh, it? They're covering up the title. Backstabbed in a backwater dungeon, my trusted companions tried to kill me, but thanks to my gift of an unlimited gotcha, uh, nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine friends, and I'm out for something of party members 
Why would they cover it if you were going to put oh, the whole thing? Here it is. Here it is. Here oh, my is. God. It's a whole paragraph. Backstabbed in a backwater dungeon, my trusted companions tried to kill me, but thanks to the gift of an unlimited gotcha, I got level 9,999 friends, and I'm out for revenge on my former party members and the world. Volume 5. No one get this series just for the sake of the fact that they titled it that. When I was reading this part right here, I was reminded of the uh, JC song. I got 99 pro <laughs> problems. Yeah, 99 problems. That's what I thought of when I was reading this. I got level 9,999 friends, but it bitch ain't one. Yeah, there you go. Or you just call it this, which is the smart thing to do, backstabbed in a backwater dungeon. Also coming out, this is very not safe for work, uh, Trinity 7 Revision, Volume 1. It's a sequel to Trinity 7. Is it related to Trinity Blood? No. No. Because this one's about spies and shootouts. What about Trinity from the Matrix? That sounds similar. Uh, yes. What about <laughs> Seven with uh, that guy? In... What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the <laughs> Trinity Seven revision? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got No Longer Heroin, Volume 6. Let's big go. eyes. My, what big eyes do you have there? Uh, and I am so excited for this. I was left hanging with Volume 1. Holy that crap. First, that was a good first volume. I loved it so much. It was so cool. And then like, oh, you got to wait three freaking months. Okay, thank you. Or four, whatever. Steel of the Celestial Shadows, Volume 2, finally. Sorry. Uh, Toge Oni, Primal Gods in Ancient Times, Volume 3. Read Volume 1, dug it. Have not read Volume 2. So when this comes out, I'll read Volume 2. And the Illustrated Guide to Monster Girls, Volume 3. Next volume is the last. Oh, man. Almost on its way out. Oh, man. G. Willikers, My Poison Princess is Still Cute, Volume 2. And Bungo Stray Dogs, one, wham, 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 seven, Mario. Someone dogs. out there is watching this for the first time, and they're massive fans of this, and they just got upset, and they're like, "These, these, these people, I can't." They shouldn't have foot. Wah. 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 Um, hey, stop. Oh, this is another long one. Give me a second. My eyesight is failing me. Let me open this up. My instant death ability is so overpowered, no one in this other world stands a chance against me. Alpha and Omega, Volume 4. This is Omega-verse. It's, no, it's Alpha-verse. Mm, yeah. No. No Omega-verse. Then don't Kiss put the, the Omega there. Kiss the Scars of the Girls, Volume 2. Record of Ragnarok, Volume 10, finally coming out. I'm I'm upset that this takes so long to publish. And you can read it in like five minutes. <laughs> it, I was going to say, like, it's one of the quickest reads. You'd start it, and then some people get punched, and you're like, that's it. I feel whenever I read it, I'm like, ah, why did I buy this if it's just a fight? So I let it build and read like five of them in a row or something. I also um, watch the, the anime when each season comes out. And I yeah. feel like when the manga like catches up to the anime, the next then they put out the next season. And it's like, oh, man, like I thought I was going to get past where the anime is. Mm -hmm. It just keeps going. There's 21 volumes. <laughs> why? There's we're, Why are we so far behind? The, the least they could do is like put it out every other month. Yeah, I feel like the hype died for this series. I remember when it came out, all all the all the peoples were like, "Oh hell yeah, okay, here we are with Volume Ten, finally." It was like a, it was very highly requested of a license. Yeah. People wanted it a lot, and then it finally happened, and people were excited. And then now people don't care. I care. Pepper cares. Arms cares. Yes. 
Uh, oh, saving. Yes. Saving 80,000 gold in another world for my retirement, volume six. I love that she's holding the gun. They're friends. But you look at it and think, oh, she's a psychopath and has this uh, this one as a human shield. Oh, no. Magic Knight Ray Earth, volume three. But I think it, it may be delayed because other websites have different dates on it. I think I saw it for May instead of April, but then Kodansha's website says April, so I don't know. Someone think of the Mecca. Volume 2 like just came out, so... So probably delayed. Yeah. Look at my yeah, little guy. Says... Did, did I show you guys my little guy? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. He's quite the little guy. Look at this you... Silly Riley, little guy. do you... Do you remember the TikTok I sent you about the guy that had the the weird instrument where it makes like funky, moist noises? Yes, th this looks like this. He's... Yes, yes, that one. They're like the bleep bloop song. Yeah, yeah. bleep blooping. My girl has a weird head turn right there. Her neck's gonna break. Jesus she's Christ, zest. She's like the exorcist of Emily Rose. She's looking up <laughs> at a at a downward angle. She's looking backwards at you, and she's gonna eat your soul. Someone think of the Mecca. Everyone always complains about how little shojo there is, but they never talk about how little Mecca series there are. <laughs> not with uh, him. So... I'm not with him. No, <laughs> I will not be pulled into this. Can we reveal the plan? To everyone, no, not yet. Okay. No, you're just gonna get people mad. <laughs> you know, you don't want people like you don't want other people to be in on this so we can start it. No, because I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> you don't want to start a war. No, I don't actually. I don't want to be a part of it. You can do it on your own, uh, but I would like to be out. At least I know Shiva's got my back. Do it with Geo on another day where I'm not here. Okay. Uh, I, I do want to point out before we leave Ray Earth, uh, book one, uh, uh, part one, book three. So uh, after this, three more books and you'll have the full series. Uh, but I do want it. I hope it comes out. If not, it's probably for next month. Uh, this is getting an anime this season. Studio apartment, good lighting, angel included. Uh, volume 5. It's a, a comedy series. And uh, The Demon Sword Master of Excalibur, Volume 5. My Cat is Such a Weirdo, Volume 3. Oh, Look at that. He's so massaging cute. and making biscuits at the same time. Making That's so biscuits. Cool. That's so awesome. Look at them and show them you're weird. <laughs> We got another cat manga, My New Life as a Cat, Volume 5. That's super cute, too. Uh, Shy, Volume 6, coming out. This is a, another one that's taken forever to come out. Yeah. Because the anime covered up to here, and now we're getting this volume. Shy is really like, oh, I really like My Hero Academia, and it's a month where we don't get a volume of My Hero Academia. <laughs> Yay, Shy is out this month. <laughs> it if you don't know anything about both, you would think this is like a spin-off from, yeah. from uh, My Hero Academia. It's, like, it's like Justice League International and My Hero <laughs> to the to the yeah. Justice League. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, All or nothing. Uh, this is a one and done book. BL series, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm quitting heroing volume five. It's taking an awful long time for you to quitting heroing. <laughs> call the name of the night, volume Not four. Used with call of the night. I yeah. think this is either the last volume or the next volume is the last volume. Ooh, nice. And I don't remember. Mommy Chan on the cover of Rent a Girlfriend, volume twenty four. Mom. Mommy Chan, my it's my girl, Mommy Chan. <laughs> oh my god! You, you should have seen the reaction when the when the show first started. 
and all the uh, the incel redditors, they hate Mommy John. Why? And She's just doing what he does. Exactly. But they're going to defend a homeboy and whatever. And they're like, oh, F Mommy John. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, my guy, first of all, it's a fictional character. Calm down. Two, there are better things for you to read and be passionate about <laughs> instead of rent a girlfriend. This it is just so, like a guilty pleasure thing. It is so funny that Colleen can actually discuss rent a girlfriend now. Fucking mommy John, she's always trying to get on his dick. I it, it is so I forgot until you started actually talking about it, and I was like. Um, Mommy Chan has done nothing wrong. You, All she does is just give him back the energy that he gives to every other fucking person in the room. How many? You read what? Four volumes? Just two. I, oh, I need to read the third one still. I'm embarrassed to admit how many I've read. So I gotta say. I, I mean, I might keep reading it just because it's fucking yeah. insane. It's an insane yeah, do that. series. <laughs> Honestly, if you want, check out the show. Because they have like top tier uh, 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 seiyus working on it, and some of my favorite ladies uh, in in the anime business, they're on it. I would recommend the show over the manga. Honestly, here's the there thing, though. I feel like if I watch the show, I'm not getting the pure, unadulterated chaos of the author. That's that's, <laughs> and that's what I feel like. Like makes the series so unhinged. It's just <laughs> that author just seems like off his rocker. <laughs> And the, the homeboy using AI art this week yes. was like, of <laughs> course it would be rent a girlfriend, dude. Uh, what's his and name? His, uh, Reiji. Right? His other series right now being the like, the incest one, the like not actually incest, but you know, he's off yeah. his rocker. That's just that's. There's a beach theme going on right now, as you can see with the covers. I haven't met that girl yet. Y'all are making me want to pick up the series just to get in on the insanity. This girl is my favorite from the series. Uh, and I'm a fake fan because I forgot her name right now. But uh, she's awesome. You're not a you're not a mommy chan stan? No, I uh, no. See, a, uh, the current arc, they're in they're in the summer beach tour. Or, I don't know. I'm a chorizo stan, but I, I don't hate mommy chan. Mommy Chan, she's cool. Uh, I thought you know. you were vegetarian. I genuinely, I love this cover, and it's for the damn donut. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, Floaty. Uh, no, no, no. The the thing. The, what, what do you call this? When you go to the uh, you you the tube the the oh an oh, inner tube yeah inner tube yeah I, I I love that it's a donut with sprinkles. That's awesome. <clears throat> I'm weird like that. You just I don't know why I'm kids. highlighting this, but I just wanted to point that out. We just want to look at Rena Girlfriend. It's peak. We love it. This is <laughs> friend of the show, Reiji, Reiji Miyamura. You know, if... We love Mami-chan. If they do omnibus of these, then I'll buy it. Oi! Oi, Kazuya! <laughs> My name is Mami-chan! A fucking... Bloody hell. Oh, fucking come here, give me a kiss. You you what, mate? What, mate? You want a bottle of water? Oh, uh, call the name of the night ends next volume, volume five. Okay, volume five. Uh, Atrial, this is true. It does not need to be as long as it is. This should have ended years ago. The guy keeps milking the series. But the girls, on, I love the covers. Genuinely, I do love the covers. They're great. They deserve better than that <clears throat> series. Yes, but do watch the anime chat because uh, the I, the acting is is good. Chat, <clears throat> chat, is this real? <laughs> King in Limbo Omnibus Volume Two. Hell yeah! <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> Associate Professor Akira Takatsuki's Conjecture Volume Three. It's a weird title. No, well, maybe I don't know. I read like one chapter and it seemed interesting. This is a weird cover, man. Hold on. Check this out. What is going on? What is what is happening? Why are his arms so long and freakish? Geo, I'm really sorry to say this, but I think he's ET. 
Kill him with hammers. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> you, know, you guys don't know. I, I there are two things in in this world that I hate. One of them, uh, there are more, but I'm just going to name two. One of them is ET, and the other are the minions. If I ever see a minion in real life or an ET, I will punch it in the face and spit on it. I hate them. Do not like them. Get this out of my face. But I was highlighting this because she's doing a, a Marilyn Monroe thing here. She looks super blazed. Look at her eyes. <laughs> And is she jumping over Goblin? Oh, yeah, I guess, she's but like Goblin she's player? not gonna make it. Her boobs aren't even over him. <laughs> Barely. I feel like the next sequence is the two of them falling because, uh, yeah, she, he, he is going to or whatever it is going to knock over her personalities. So just crotch <laughs> right to the back of the head, head to the floor. There's gonna be so two that. My crotch on your head and your head on the floor. <laughs> How not to summon a demon lord. How not to summon a demon lord, volume 18. And that one, that atrocity over there is, so what's wrong with getting reborn as a goblin? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Ask I the goblins from Goblin Slayer. I remember, when, get an anime. remember when Goblin Slayer was like the biggest thing? I hated it. I like, watched it and hated it. I never finished the show. The first episode came out and everyone was like, oh my god! And then after that, like, no one cared about it. That first episode was edgy as fuck. They it also had some big, to get anyone to... There was also some big bouncing personalities. Yes. Like, heaving personality all through that episode. Some big Percy's. They call a character a cow? Or milk? Or something like that? God. Because she she owns the farm or something, I don't remember. But it was it was weird. She's got big Percy's. I just remember her like hanging out a window and, and like her yes. personalities were like jiggling. Also, uh, yeah. speaking yeah. of jiggling, Gap Papa, Daddy at Work and at Home, Volume Four, Colored Manga. You, anytime I hear the word jiggling, I think about uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and there was like the little hobo toy. He's like, "Come dance to jiggling," and then you start dancing. Hi, man. I'm so sorry. We're off on rants and tangents. Do apo I do apologize for all the fans of it <laughs> if we upset you. I don't understand how it even has side series. It has like two or three, I think, and light novels. Uh, yeah, Goblin Slayer was great. She was called Cowgirl. There we go. Thank you, Warren. Not, not I can show off Cowgirl in a minute if you guys no are surprise. interested. In no surprise from Warren on that one. Mission Yozakura Family Volume 10. And finally, we're back with Lord Hades' Ruthless Marriage Volume 2. It's been a while since Volume 1. I think there's only going to be three or four volumes. So, so it's a Ruthless. Ruthless yet very short marriage. Yeah, that's pretty disappointing for Hades. Come on, man. Yeah, because the first volume was great. I do want to check it out. I was pleasantly surprised. <clears throat> Revenge, Miss uh, Wrong, Volume Two, and When Will Ayumu Make His Move, Volume Fifteen? If it's been fifteen freaking volumes, you need to move on. <laughs> yes. If he if he wanted to, he would. <laughs> a beast descent into love. This is a love love publication from Tokyo Pop. I was so confused for two seconds. I didn't realize the knee was coming up, and I oh. was like, "Why is the torso so long?" I was so confused. Or like, why did they have a, a third leg? <laughs> and there, there's somebody here too, right? Yeah. Maybe. Is that a tail? There's a it oh, looks like a hand yeah. grasping something furry. Oh, okay. So I think the guy has a tail and then someone's someone from uh, off the cover is it's very, we're, uh, we're doing it. We're grabbing the tail. I, I bet it's a wraparound cover and the back has whoever the other character. I'm gonna look on Amazon. They have the wraparound. What's it called again? A beast descent into love from Tokyo Pop. 
also, while you look that up, I want you to make me beautiful. The complete omnibus edition. Uh, they, don't like the, the, they don't have the, the full cover art. Uh, H-Field is pointing out that uh, Beast Descent into Love is giving racist fetishism vibes. I always get yeah. a little iffy on, on series like that whenever they are describing what the hell is this stuff. about? Wait a minute. Hold on. After sneaking into a black market auction, the thief Callum accidentally steals one of the most highly prized goods, a beautiful demi-human with beast ears and a tail named Asena or Asena. Now, uh, Ke uh, wait. Now, Kaleem has to take responsibility and shelter Asena in his home for one month until the ship that can take him back to his homeland arrives. Asena, who despises humans for the way they've subjugated demi-humans, treats Kalim coldly at first, but then something Kalim never could have expected happens. Asena goes into heat. Oh, make a verse, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. This is by Rui Asajima. All right, good for them. Uh, this one, I already read that one. Complete Omnibus. <clears throat> Another Not Safe for Work book. We got Fox Colored Jealousy. Mm. It's a BL series. And the this person is a uh, Fox Spirit uh, person. Yeah. It, if you don't know, in folklore, the fox is a trickster and will disguise itself as a human, male or female, and uh, get it on with people. I don't know why. I'm not an expert on this, but they get it on with people a lot. The human is a trickster that will disguise itself as a fox. Right. And get That's it on with other foxes. Also coming out, my Gemini, which had an anime, right? Didn't this get an anime adaptation or something? Uh, I think you're just thinking of the author who's the same author as the Mr. Villain's Day Off. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> it's only uh, one volume, I think. Yu Morikawa. There we go. Also, when I be... Oh, it's a long title. Hold on, I want to read it. <laughs> when I become a commoner, they broke off our engagement. Volume 2. Not as long as we were hoping. Disappointed. Obey Me, the comic, the manga. Volume 2. <laughs> Scarlet Secret, uh, also a love, love book, and 15 Minutes Before We Really Date, Volume 2, by Perico. Which How many is... volumes can they fit into 15 minutes? Uh, my, f my, I was going to fate. My mate is a feline gentleman, UK arc, under, uh, uh under. Nothing. One and done. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, a parental advisory. Viewer discretion is advised. Or reader discretion. Uh, Parasite. Full colored collection. Volume 6. Hardcover. Is this the last one? No. it's There's 8. Oh. Never mind. Volume 6 of this one. This is getting a Netflix live action adaptation. But this one's in full color. I just realized eight volumes because they spell out parasite. Yeah. Wow, I'm smart. Yeah, there's one letter on each spine, and also right. yeah, 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 yeah. Color is it started red and now it's purple. It like slowly transitions. Nice. I'm gonna Undead. Other ones. Undead Unluck, Volume 15. The anime just ended, and uh, we're gonna get an announcement in August. We have to wait until August for them to announce a, a second season. It's insane. Oh, was it August? Yes, because they're commemorating uh, the two main characters when they met in the story, which was in August. Mm, uh, the Summer Hikaru Died, Volume 3. The cover's really interesting. I like it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. 
Goblin Slayer, Volume 14. Get out of here. Goblins. Go, go, goblin. These nuts. <laughs> got him. Got him. Got him. And next to it is My Dress Up Darling, Volume 11. Slayer, I hardly know her. I also got that My Dress Up Darling from Square Enix. And when I, I got it in the mail right after we went out to see um, Immaculate, where Sydney Sweeney oh. plays. Oh, man. And I yeah. was like, oh, look, Immaculate, the manga. A totally different manga, but yeah. Uh, okay. Interesting. Mieruko chan, chan, Volume 9. And Chained Soldier, Volume 7. Anime just ended up this. I gave it on Annie List a two out of five. I because it was bad, it's terrible, but it had good animation. That that was because you can't give it a zero. So I gave it a two because of the animation. It would have been a one. Sorry. I had great memories of like narrating to Colleen, like reading volume one. And I, I was like every chapter it just got worse and worse i was like how does this keep getting worse oh it, yeah it, it goes places not it's, good places and also a big one this one a big one we got goku duck go and blah, 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 rewind goku rakugai goku rakugai there we go volume one from Yuto Sano, Volume 1 is cool, cool, cool. And Jujutsu Kaisen, Volume 22. Do you recommend nice. this one? I was look just at, saying... Look at that. Warren gave a chain soldier of 5 I, out of 5. I don't actually believe you at this point. I think that Warren specifically states <laughs> that he enjoys anything that we say is bad just to get the reaction but i'm way too tired to give a reaction and you're you're pushing it that's like the fourth thing today um, jjk i was just saying that like because i only read it physically everyone reading it weekly gets upset and then like a year later i get to whatever they're reading but because they stop being upset about it i know it's not a big deal so, so I'm just reading it like like that yeah. gif of Elmo on the toilet. Like, yeah, I caught you red-handed with your pants down. I got it. I I know what's going on, and I will never trust anything that you say ever again. Uh, Parallel <laughs> World Pharmacy Volume Four, and Reincarnated as a Sword Volume Twelve. I I did like the show for this one. I don't know about the manga, but. It was fun. I, I liked it. What if it was reincarnated as an S word? But here's the... What's the S word? As... Sword. Any S, no, any oh, S word. Oh, 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 okay. No! The S word is sword. Not... It's a. It's layered. It's the layered S, layered. S word changes every chapter. Every you chapter, wanna... it's like, which S word am I this chapter? <laughs> Do you want to know the secret behind... Or not the secret, the the silly plot twist for this one the person that got reincarnated and isekai is not the main protagonist what? it's the cat girl in the no, middle no, no. who uses the person that was reincarnated as who, a sword yeah, exactly yeah this week it's sword next week it's sashimi and then the week after that it might be like sesame street or something a shovel yeah reincarnated yeah. as a shovel why not Seven Fates Chaco Volume Three. Let's uh, go. We got our first uh, webtoon comic here. Let's go BTS. Let's go. And Soseki Natsume's Kokoro, The Heart of Things. Heck yeah! Let's go Tuttle. Let's go Tuttle. Yeah, Tuttle. Hey, yeah. We got more to go. Hold on. Hold on to your butt. Still got more books. Here we go down below. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Uh, Overgeared Manwa, Volume 3, and Worlds and Harem Afterworld, Volume 17. 
Into the Deepest, Most Unknow Unknowable Dungeon, Volume 8, into and the Other end. Side Picnic, Volume 9. Into the Unknown. The Ice Blade Sorcerer Shall Rule the World, Volume 9, and we also have Itaiwan Class, Manwa, Volume 1. Looks pretty chill. Watch it be like the most horrific thing, like murder and uh, macabre violence and stuff. Uh, Boys Abyss, Volume 5. That's Geo's favorite series. Oh, I don't know, man. I thought it was way too edgy for its own good. Uh, my Next Life as a Villainess, All Roots Lead to Doom, Volume 9. Insane to me that this has a Switch game, by the way. I, I I thought it was funny, but I didn't love it enough to keep going. With Which it. one? The villainous one? Yes. As an official Switch uh, video game. It's a lot. It's a visual novel, but still. A game. <laughs> uh, Eden Zero, Volume 28, and don't call it mystery, Omnibus Volume 4. My boy We're Toko. all getting that one here. If I can't call it a mystery, what am I supposed to call it? Tokado! Uh, isekai. <laughs> It's don't call it isekai. Today's menu for the Emiya fam family, volume seven, and I think this is the final volume. Blood uh, on or no, 17. seventeen. Yeah, Blood on the Tracks, volume sixteen from Shuzo Oshimi. Yeah, seventeen. Uh, so yeah, I'm interested to hear your take on this. Okay. I read I read it digitally, but uh, I'm curious to see all the physical collectors and what they think of the finale. How dare you? <laughs> the beginning after the end. So, so another uh, manhwa, volume five. And the boxer manhwa, volume six. I think the boxer is only like eight volumes long or something. Disney Mirrorverse, a bell. And Ogami-san, can't keep it in, volume four. The cover for that mirror verse is kind of hype. That's pretty fun. Yeah, I like I don't know her, what's happening here, but I like her cloak and her staff. McFarlane, I think McFarlane Toys. Uh, they do. They have a line for this series, and it's pretty interesting. Ridiculous, I should say. Uh, one of my current uh, favorite reads the dangers in my heart i love the anime and i love this manga can't recommend it enough super fun volume eight and I i've not been watching the show because i'm waiting to read this first mm -mm. uh yuri is my job volume 12 i watched the show the adaptation of this and, and liked it I, I i assume the manga is better but uh you know can't read everything sorry See you in my 19th life, Manwa, Volume 2. And uh, with the best cover of the night, Killing Stalking yeah. Deluxe Edition, Volume 6. A Brief Moment of Ichika, Volume 1. We got Phantom of the Idol, Volume 7. Daughter of the Emperor, Volume 7. It's a colored Manwa. And Witch Hat Atelier Kitchen, Volume 3. We got The Ancient Magus Bride, Wizard's Blue, Volume 8. And from Titan Manga, a lot of people are excited for this one, Speed Grapher, Volume 1. You know what sucks is that a lot of people are going to miss out on the anime, obviously because you can't hear the opening theme. But for the anime, the opening was Girls on Film from Duran Duran. And to me, that was uh, extremely dope to hear a Western song in an anime. I'm like, whoa, let's go. 80s music. Soul Eater, the perfect edition. Hardcover, volume 14. Another great cover. And this right one here. is Another great cover. <laughs> this one is not happening. Uh, Trigon is delayed. I they think September. Out, it's a September. Yeah, they're ironing out the kinks with the uh, licensors and all that stuff. So we're gonna see that for a bit. Uh, Vinland Saga Deluxe Volume Two. Is this the right date for it? Is it coming out 
now? It might. I, uh, I, don't, I don't remember. It might be pushed back. If it does come out, this is the second hardcover containing volumes four, five, and six. You look at the back and the front. Ooh. Look, I can actually read the, the thing at the top. Artodis cast uh, uh, Duchi. Duchi Ligonium Britannica Mernarium. There we go. Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Hmm. We got my gently raised beast, volume six. It's another Bonwa. And I talked about this earlier, Made in Abyss, Volume 12. Why Raylina ended up at the Duke's Mansion, Manwa, Volume 6, Colored Edition. And uh, A Sign of Affection, Volume 8. But we're not done with A Sign of Affection. We'll come back to that in a second. We got Nobly's uh, Manwa, Volume 2. And Classroom of the Elite, Volume 10. Mm. Roll over and die. I will fight for an ordinary life with my love and cursed sword. Volume 5. <laughs> Shonen Note, Boys Soprano, Volume 7. We're not done. Hold on. Scribbles. We got another art book. Volume 3, hardcover edition. Fed up with being the spoiled queen's genius butler, I ran away and built the world's strongest army. Volume 1. Here we go. Another of the big releases for the whole year, I would say. We have the first omnibus release of A Sign of Affection, containing the first three volumes of that. Highlight that real quick. I really enjoyed the anime. To me, it was a 5 out of 5 for this season. So I'm looking forward to more, and I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, 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 dead air. Uh, yeah, so this is coming out. That's cool. Uh, anime ended on volume 6 in the first chapter. So mm. if you want to know where it leaves off. Typically... Yeah, typically uh, a good chunk of the seasonal stuff will adapt six volumes of material. Except other ones like uh, Delicious and Jun Dungeon, which do three episodes per volume. But, yes. Also, Innocent, Omnibus Volume 2. What What's the PSA, Riley? Because we always mention it when we talk about Innocent. If you want the climber, buy Innocent. There you go. Climber? That's, that's what they told I barely know her. I hardly know her. <laughs> uh, that's what that's what Carl at Dark Horse told me. That How is the build on Innocent? Let me grab it real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Be right back. I, I read the whole volume um, front to back. You no, love the titty milk? Yes, I did. Um, no, no issues with the spine. No, no cracking or anything. Here's volume one. Uh, what Riley said, I agree. Holds over nicely, and you can read it. Oh, is this not it? No, it, it is safe for work. All right, cool. So, there you go. I do, I do recommend it. Get it. Even though I haven't talked about it on, on my channel, but do get it. Now here's volume two out of four for the first one, right? Is it four or three? Three for the first and then, series and then four for the second series. Four for the sequel, yeah. Phew. Almost done. <laughs> Getting tired of naming things. Uh, Happy uh, Kanako's Killer Life, Volume 7. It's a big head. Oh, my God. How do I pronounce this? Seraph of the End, Guren Ichinose. Catastrophe at 16, Volume 4. 
Mushoku Tensei Roxy Gets Serious Volume 11. This is a spin off from uh, Mushoku Tensei. And Easygoing Territory Defense by the Optimistic Lord of Volume 2. And I think, I think we're done. Dance in the Vampire Bunny. This is next, this is May, right? No, it's not. All right. Big old personalities right there. If you like some vampire not safe for work. Dance in the Vampire Bund, Age of Scarlet Order, Volume 11. And I think this one is not coming out this... Oh, it is. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Great. The Great Snake's Bride, Volume 3. This is a good one. But a lot of people are going to be weirded out because the two of them get married. It's a giant snake thing. It's like Anaconda, the J-Lo movie, but better. No John Voight inside. So, or uh, what was the rapper? Uh, was it Ice Cube that was on the Anaconda movie? I think so. One of the one of the rappers, whatever. One of them guys. Uh, so I think that's the last one. Is Nina the Starry Bride coming out this month? I don't think so because Nina came out last month. What? Uh, that's supposedly. Bad. Nina the Starry Bride Volume Four. That's a cool cover. I like the, the coloring on this one. Got my boy. And is this the last one? I don't know. I didn't check. <laughs> nope. We're still going, folks. We're going to be here all night. Banished from the Heroes Party, I decided to live a quiet life in the countryside, volume seven. There's so Those many. are some pointy ears. Damn. So many books. Like they're going like straight, not. Okay. Spikes for ears. Is it? Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, yeah, these are still going. Okay. Uh, Miyamoto Musashi's Book of Five Rings, the manga edition. And from Panpanya, Panpanya, sorry, Fish Society, which strangely I do want to read. It's a good. Is my. Sorry, go ahead. Good creator. Their, their previous works, the, the one who did the Fish Society. Good stuff. Oh, we're still going. Holy crap. So, yeah, this is Fish Society right here. Uh, this is about a society of fish. Uh, pro Trag returns to their old job in the fish market as seen in Invitation from a Crab to try to help improve the labor standards of his old industry, but they soon realize that the seafood world is uh, full of so much bureaucracy, middlemen, and waste. What if they could cut most of it out by letting the fish handle so much of that grunt work? And what if he? It, what if the beings of the sea took back control over how their products were caught, packaged, and even sold? Imagine how liberating that would be for fish. There we go. Uh, also coming out, my androgynous boyfriend, Volume Four. This is most likely delayed. They oh, have shoot. not been able to get this series out on time in a long time, from what I've heard from other people. Damn! How dare they! This threesome manga. Is this the last one? No, we're still going. All right. Outbride, Beauty and the Beasts, Volume 5. Mm. <clears throat> we're going to get down and dirty soon. Is he, is he an angel? And got wings. And this guy's an Oni. And she's a regular human? I don't know. It's a weird series. Isekai Romance. A young woman named Mashiro is reborn in a fantasy world inhabited only by men. And, oh, that must be a terrible place. <laughs> and suddenly finds herself with four supernatural suitors. These handsome men with fur, feathers, and horns call themselves gods. She's now the sole human female, oh my god, in their world, so they all want her to bear their, 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 their children. As if that's not enough, the air of this new realm is permeated with a poison that only a god can suppress. With a kiss. This read like the description of volume one, but this is volume five. What is happening? It's the same thing for every volume, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wicked Trapper. I think this is also coming we're, up. We're still in. I, I can tell you when we're going to be out of April. Thank you. Uh, Wicked Trapper, Hunter of Heroes, volume four. And Blue Lock, volume 12. Don't toy with me, Ms. Nagatoro, volume 16. 
and Gotcha Kuta, Volume 2. Gotcha Kuta. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got She's My Night, Volume 2, and My Sister Took My Fiancé, and Now I'm Being Courted by a Beastly Prince, Volume 1. Rawr. Uh, we Can't Do Just Plain Love, Volume 3. Um, <laughs> Tokyo Pop. Good smut. <laughs> good soup. That's good soup. Shangri-La Frontier, Volume 11. The anime actually ends this week. Uh, with 25 episodes. Nice. So it should adapt up to volume 12, I think. Mm, I'm giving the dis the disgraced noble lady I rescued a crash course in naughtiness, volume 5. This was pretty wholesome and silly. I really enjoyed the show, the anime for it. We are almost done. Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time, volume 12. This is super etchy. By the way, that's it, and that's it. <laughs> we yeah. end it on stop, Etchy. Stop there! No more! No more! I think I think Peter Grill is the last. Well, I know I know that Polar Opposites is next month. I know that for a fact. Peter Grill, I'm pretty sure, was still in. Yep. Yep. And with right. that, it's my turn. Okay, I'm going. Holy to crap! I'll call you in the anime part. <laughs> I'll BRB. I, mine's, I'm, I'm going to make it quick. Don't y'all worry. Thank you. Don't. Uh, hold on. Let me just share. Okay. So we're going to look at the media, the anime, the music, the whatever. There's not a ton. Um, some of these we might have already looked at last month. I don't remember. But uh, Poopel of Chimney Town, Vinyl Soundtrack, Godzilla, Planet of the Monsters, and mm. Planet Eater, and City on the Edge. Mm. So that. Netflix anime trilogy. Those soundtracks are due out this month. Uh, Abandoned Sacred Beast, Blu-ray Collector's Editions, the Crunchyroll Exclusive. I think we looked at that one in detail last month. Black mm -hmm. Bullet, the Complete Collection Blu-ray. Uh, there's another Peter Grill, Philosopher's Time, Super Extra, Complete Collection. Uh, uh, don't get that, guys. Rosin Maiden. Uh, that that oh, has a large following. Various Artists, Giants. <laughs> Vinyl. I love the colored vinyl for that. Otaku Elf. Highly Kamen. recommend that. That was a lot of fun. Otaku Elf was one of my favorites last year. Common Rider Geats, I've heard, is a really great Common Rider series if you're looking to get into the franchise. I haven't watched it, so I can't personally vouch, but I've heard good things. Uh, Monogatari series, final oh, season, God. complete set Blu ray. We're this is some bullshit. I'm, we're going to look at that in a minute. I'm going to. Thank you. I want to okay. rant. Thank you. Because that's that's a three hundred four hundred and thirty dollars discounted to three hundred forty three. Excuse me. Uh, and I'm also going to look at why the Toradora. Uh, oh my God! Why is that so expensive? Two, Baki. We looked at this one before. The brown marble variant kind of looks like Diarrhea. Yeah. Uh, Naruto Symphonic Experience vinyl. I want to look at that just to see if it's a yes. Um, Phoenix Reminiscence of Flower, original soundtrack vinyl. That's from uh, the Phoenix adaptation, the Tezuka stuff. Yes. And one for Geo, Dangers in My Heart, Season 1, Blu-ray, at uh, 5249. But it's Sentai, so, you know, Crunchy's not our sponsor, so I don't, I don't mind telling y'all to wait on Sentai stuff. Yeah, wait, wait on it, of course. It's going to lower in price. Deep, deep discounts. Like, like if, if y'all are unfamiliar, Sentai will do, like, 90% discounts sometimes. <laughs> Um, Blue Giant, the movie. I want that too. I, I, I look forward to checking this one out. And that's, uh, I think, Mobile Suit. This one we talked about last month, but that that is supposed to come out. That's one hundred and thirty two ninety eight. But I think we already looked at why that was expensive. And then the Godzilla minus one original motions picture score. I'm, I'm gonna. I want it, but uh, it's a lot of money. But I want it. I just I want to be able to put it on my record player and just needle drop. Okay, moving on to Chainsaw Man. This this one's that one's for next month. Chainsaw. Oh, never mind. I'll so hype it up. We're done. Month. We're done with that. But I am going to highlight the the ones that we wanted to see. 
um, share screen for Monogatari. Why is this 430 bucks discounted down to 340 This is so stupid. Okay, so uh, first check, uh, first thing on the checklist. This is an Aniplex release, yep. so it is going to be expensive. Second, that's bullshit that it's getting a discount because Aniplex has always been Right Stuff exclusive, yep. and now they're Crunchyroll exclusive, so there's no freaking point to saying MSRP is 430 bucks, but we're going to sell it for 343 uh, That's a load of baloney. Sorry. Don't get duped. It's their this price. Is, um, overpricing a product because this could have easily have been under normal circumstances like a hundred bucks 150 bucks um it's only eight blu-rays and some other crap i like the series but come on now the monogatari series final season complete blu-ray set is a must-have for fans this beautiful and quirky series from tsuki monogatari to zoku owari monogatari this exclusive edition will include all 48, uh, sorry, 42 episodes on eight discs, TV omnibuses, textless openings and endings, special booklets, and more, all housed in a rigid box featuring charming artwork by character designer Aiko Watanabe. I like how they say rigid, so you know it's not just a cheap, like flimsy. Um, special uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Special booklets, textless openings and endings, TB omnibuses one and two, PV and CM collections. So it's really, you get a booklet. That's stupid. For $300, it should be an omnibus that you're getting inside there. How many episodes? 42 episodes on eight. 42. Weeks. So if you divide 42 like by $343, how much is that? $398. Divided by 42, you're essentially paying eight dollars and nineteen cents per episode. Stupid. That should not be. That's ridiculous. So boycott. Uh next up, we're gonna look I, I boycott all Aniplex releases. It and sucks because they get a bunch of cool stuff, but I don't I don't support them. Toradora. Why uh, is this so expensive? Why is this $122.98? Um Da, 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 LP version previously released on CD consisting of songs, game, radio, character song albums, and now available after a lapse of about 10 years. It's only 14 tracks. <laughs> Maybe it was like a super hard license to acquire it, or something. Maybe, but that that's okay. Whatever. I'm not... Have you guys read or watched Toradora? Mm -mm. I used to love the anime, but then I tried to rewatch it again recently, and I'm not as big of a fan, but... I I got the Blu-rays on discount, but I've not done a second watch through of that mm. in years. Yeah, um, I was like a metal with it when I was a teenager. It was fun, funny. I never mm -hmm. liked the the end pairing though. I wanted the other thing to happen with the other girl. The yeah, redhead. Yeah, me redhead? too. Gio. I was so pissed off. I'm like, that. This is bullshit. This is you're doing it because this is the main character. Come on now. Gio, you get me. <laughs> yes. This one, on the other hand, I think might be worth it. If you're a fan of Naruto, you like the music from the anime. The music is so good. I this want this. Two, two vinyl, colored vinyls, and the track listing, it's got... Um, <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, continue. I'm going to tell you a story. My bad. There's uh, what's, what's 27, 38... Plus nine is uh, 47. There's 47 tracks, uh, four sides of vinyl. It's a lot of stuff in there for, for your 49. Can you album. scroll down a, a little bit before you close it okay. to the track listing? Does it have Sadness and Sorrow? Yes. You, do you know that song? One and two. If, if you were to say, or it, I, it, I probably it's, would. It's the sad song from the Naruto anime. Do, 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 do. It's a like a morning grief flute track. I probably uh, it, it's pretty famous. It was pretty famous because people used it for all sorts of AMVs when Naruto first came out. Uh, a long time ago, I'm going to say like five years ago or maybe six years ago, at work, I get an email from somebody 
And uh, I think I was supposed to record something, but then they changed it up, and that person recorded them, recorded the audio themselves, or made the full the 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 final mix down. It was supposed to announce the. It was a obituary for uh, somebody famous. I don't remember who it was. <laughs> uh, it was supposed to play on air. I play the. I I uh, program it. It, it plays. And the guy is reading the obituary and he used sadness and sorrow as the background music for the on-air obituary. I, my jaw dropped and I burst out laughing out loud. That is it was hilarious. so ridiculous. Uh, it's like, um, tell me a, another famous song from anime that you, that you guys like. Uh, from from any anime? Yeah, something famous, anything. Uh, Cruel Angel Thesis. If yeah. uh, imagine I'm reading an obituary and then that plays in the background. <laughs> we are here to announce the passing <laughs> of, uh, of Colleen. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it was that. But Sadness and Sorrow is so sad, that, but it, it's almost comical. When yeah. you hear it, because it's you're so like sad. Naruto. <laughs> what yeah, and I, I, saw, I heard that, and I and I said, "What is going on, Naruto? An AM broadcast happening without the copyright? What? It was amazing. Loved it. Hilarious. Um, also, I hosted a program years ago where I took in live live calls, and I needed background music, and I did not want to use the stock background songs that they had on on the uh, computer so i made a, a, a cd with m some of my favorite tracks and i think i sneaked in bebop music or was bebop helsing or trigun one of those three so i was taking calls and the music that you're hearing was like felted pen or uh yeah, real folk blues or something like that. Nobody knew anything because there's a bunch of old people calling in. They don't know, but that was fun. They wanted to go mushroom hunting. Mushroom hunting is amazing. Mushroom hunting. You want the oh the Inuyasha? You want the oh what's the song that they make TikToks of where you wake up at three in the morning <laughs> with Adult Swim and the songs is playing in the background. I don't remember which Inuyasha and theme song it was. I think it, it may have been the sixth ending, if I remember correctly. What are you talking about? I can't remember it off the top. <laughs> it's three in the morning and you're waking up. So no, that's playing. I should not be awake right now. Yes. So you fall asleep on the couch and that's what you hear when you realize you have to go to your bedroom. Do you remember when Adult Swim was airing anime and they had Code Geass for the first time? And it was airing like midnight or 1 a.m. or whatever. And then something happened. They lost the rights or not the rights. They shifted the schedule, I think, because it wasn't doing so well in ratings. So they moved it to 5.30 in the morning. And I had to set up an alarm every Saturday night to wake up at Sunday morning, 5.30 a.m. to watch the damn episodes. Gio, I did feel you, you. I did the same thing. Let's I go. remember the first time that Code Geass wasn't on at like 12 or 1 o'clock or something. <laughs> and another show came on and I was like, excuse me? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> and then I missed the episode because I didn't realize that it was going to be on later. So yes. I didn't find out until I was able to get on the computer, the home computer, later that later that day. And I was yeah. like looking up the schedule on cartoonnetwork.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I and missed I like, like two or three episodes. 5 30. I missed like two episodes because I remember hearing the alarm and I'm like, I'm not gonna wake up for this. Yeah. So I slept through it. That's why uh, I have the but... DVDs of the series, because I kept missing episodes. Yes. But it, it was a good show. I love Code Yes. So one of my favorite shows. Loved it. 
Uh, Riley, was that the last one? The vinyl? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> Riley is mentally checked out already. I'm checked out. so dead, and I, I have to wake up again at 4.30. Oh, no. The All next right. three days. Take, let's take this off. Thank you. Uh, oh, sorry. So, so, so there you go, folks. Um, let me scroll through some comments real quick as we uh, wrap up the show because it's been a long show. Sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see some some interesting comments. I do apologize if I skip every comment. Um, I know I like to do that, and I feel terrible afterwards. You guys don't know this, but whenever I miss a comment, I, I feel terrible afterwards. Geo mm. cries whenever he, he turns it off. He he just full on starts sobbing. Self flagellation. He goes. I weep. Uh, you I guys weep. have to coach me before you leave. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, 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 scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. <clears throat> you bought that Tiger and Dragon book, but, but oh me? Oh, you're calling me out? Okay, there's an announcement from Seven Seas that uh, we're not going to talk about to tonight. I might talk about it next week and recap some announcements. Uh, there, there, there's an omnibus coming out, and in my Discord, uh, the the peeps want me to review that book on YouTube. I don't know if I should do that because then people are going to think I'm some degenerate and they're going to tune off from my channel. But for the for the giggles, I would do it. We'll see. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. it's the volleyball one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a disgrace to volleyball players everywhere. <laughs> yeah. uh, Bean Queenie, thank you for joining. I'm waiting on my Tiger Won't Eat the Dragon 2. Very much a cover by... Uh... There's a oh, couple of uh, personalities on that cover. And which one? Uh, Big girls? No, Tiger Dragon. Well, that. Tiger... Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, the 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 yeah. She got a lot of personality. Big person. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see. Bathroom was a fun game. I didn't know an art book existed. I had it on PS3, and I uh, I repurchased on the uh, Switch. It's fun. Get on Don Don and get caught up before the anime hits in October. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Tim, for joining. A uh, good friend of the show. That condemned villainous light novel was very fun. I'm, I'll be getting the manga too. Girl is pretty badass. Bean Queenie's excited for Snowball Earth. Is Snowball Earth a shonen? Is that seen H Field? Seinen. Hell yeah, Steel, Steel of the Celestial Shadows. Uh, the crappy animation ruined Record of Ragnarok for a lot of people. I remember the, the animation of uh, Aphrodite, was it? With her big bazoongas and the two slaves holding the bazoongas. Fun time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know about this, Pauline? You've seen you've seen that. Yeah. Somebody well, but I'm must gonna, have shared I'm, it. I'll look it up. <laughs> Google Record of Ragnarok, Aphrodite. Bazoongas. Uh, GIF, it's going to show up on the on the image results. It's ridiculous. Bazingas, Aphrodite Bazingas. Uh, Colleen's been enough wars. Uh, been in the trenches. Uh, it didn't help the big anime YouTubers declared Chizuru as best girl in the series and Mommy Chan as the worst. They're equal. Uh, Kazuya is the worst. I What's the one I like? Oh my gosh. Hold on. I'm gonna have to Google this. I'm sorry, Riley. I know you're mad that I'm prolonging the the end of the stream. Um, she shows up in volume three because I saw the preview from volume two. Yes, but I can't remember her name. And she's no, even know. voiced by one of my favorite Japanese uh uh voice actors. Uh um um, um the hell's her name? And a girlfriend. Friend. Friends a girlfriend. Uh, Ruka. There we go. She's the best. I like that character. Uh, so I, I like that one earlier. So, 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 so. I wish Goblin Slayer was more dark and brutal like Berserk, but it turned into a it turned into a harem anime. Oh my gosh! No, I'm out. Uh, I have become an unironic Omega Verse enjoyer, which is a Life trajectory I never expected for myself. <laughs> he yeah, that's, that's the one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, she she like has two statues that hold them up for her. Why? That's a lot of weight. That's what a lot of people were excited for. <laughs> that show started. I'm like, I don't know about that. Um, Parallel World Pharmacy is good. Looking forward to this upcoming volume. I think volume six, whenever that drops, the plot that happens in the last uh, in the last bit of that, of volume five and six, was really good. I, I, I was excited for it. I'm not going to spoil it, but something epic happens. Uh, let's see. Almost done with the comments. Hang tight. Kaiju number eight, about to have Western artists on the opening and ending. Really? Did not know that. Yeah, it's like, uh, um, imagine, no, uh, One Republic. And what? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Kaiju what? Number eight. I don't hate One Republic, but like, what? Uh, okay. Young Blood, One Republic, opening and ending theme. So, Young Blood and One Republic. That's like when the silent voice played uh, The Who on the movie. And I legit thought I was watching a pirated uh, sub download. Uh -huh. My generation. I'm like, what is happening here? Is this a legit copy? Oh, we mentioned Innocent. Okay, go and get it then. Uh, they do more than get married. I don't know what we were talking about. I apologize. Ice Cube, thank you. Uh, but Geo, who do the iconic moment uh, get eaten by the anaconda and wink at the lead. Who will do the iconic moment? Oh, uh, there's a bad guy in Snake's Bride that had it coming, so uh, maybe he'll do it in volume three, I think. Androgynous Boyfriend has been published, uh, pushed back, sorry, multiple times. I'll believe it when I see it. Androgynous Boyfriend is so good, says Warren. Nice. I'll see it when I believe it. <laughs> Sounds like a typical Shannon series, Second Mind Win. Uh, H-Field, really like Panpanya, Invitation from a Crab, and Guyabano Holiday are great. Do I need to read the other ones to enjoy the fish one? Because I do want to check out fish. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're all just separate stories. Anime adaptation coming soon, made by the same studio that made Rido of a Healer, I bet. I don't know which that, which one that is. Achikuda Sweep. There's a lot of legitimate plot in Outbride now. Long list, long stream. Am I right? <laughs> All the characters are so Peter is hilarious. Bad, yes, but hilarious. Venom Seed Freedom Vinyl is tempting. Riley's are checked out. Rest in peace. Uh, do you need to eat solid food? Do you mean that because of the overpriced Aniplex releases? Maybe. Childhood, do it on April Fool's. This is bad, but Geo should be used to crying with the way Marvel treats the Inhumans. I know. I did find my favorite. I, I found a new favorite instant noodles. Hey, Riley, are you going to vote on the poll for the omnibus thing? Um, I haven't before. Vote. Help me out, son. Vote <laughs> for the Inhumans. I'll, Colleen, I'll vote. vote. Even, yeah, even I was gonna say, I'll vote just for you. Yeah, you deserve uh, it. James, can you put up the link again so we can copy it? Because I know if there was you. something for Chihaya Furu, you would vote for me. <laughs> of course. Yeah, hell yeah. Did you know that Chihaya Furu is on Crunchyroll now? Wasn't it always? Or no? I, I thought it was on High Dive only. They did know. take it off at one point. But I thought it so, came back. This is the link. Uh, everybody. That's a lot of... Let me let me Let me put it on our chat. Hold on. Uh, dog, dogs. Vote for Inhumans, Alf, and Spider-Man, Mexican, Gwen Stacy. Yeah, you know what? Yes, please. It's on there. There are 600 plus options to choose from. It's insane. Okay, I have it up. So whenever we're done, you're going to have to tell me the time that you want, Geo, and I'll vote for okay. them for you. Wait, how do okay. I How do I get to the link? Copy and I paste see. the link. In... I sent it. I sent it on the, on the uh, private chat. Old man, I'm dead. Which like, is hilarious, man. considering that I'm older than, than the old man there. Ever. You're a spring chicken, Geo. 
just use all 10 votes for Geo. Yes. Let's Great. go. Manga readers? Uh, yes. There's also Akira, colored edition. That'd be a fun one, too. But let's get in humans first, please. That'd be cool considering the last volume was never put out. We are caught up. Thank you, everybody. Uh, once again, uh, thank you to our sponsor for making this show happen. When these books come out, you can find them at InStockTrades.com, your home for collected editions. You get your omnibus, your paperback, hardcovers, manga, and so much more for great discounted prices that range from 42 to 50, 60% off, whatever. You got good deals. That's what I'm getting at. At InStock Trades. Free shipping in the U.S. at 50 bucks or more. There's that loyalty discount, which adds an extra 2%. Uh, go to InStockTrades.com, our official sponsor here on the Omnibus Collectors Network. It's Omni Bros Live. And uh, shout out to K Dog, who won the gift card. Uh, you're going to have to tune in uh, next month at some point during one of the shows. It will be given out. I'm not going to say when. You got to tune in to find out. There we go. Uh, Colleen, where can people find you on the internet when you're not here with us? You can find me on Twitter at Colleen's Manga, on YouTube and Instagram at Colleen's Manga Rex. Uh, I got a big announcement coming on, on Monday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. I'm changing everything about my channel. Everything about my channel is gone. I hate manga now. So, uh, not really, even sure why you're here right now. Yeah, I hate it right now. Because you're con I, I actually saw, obligated to show up. Yeah, I saw <laughs> I saw the titty mangas. I said, nope, this is the end for me. I'm I'm done. We talked too much about rent a girlfriend. It's the end for me. I'm done. So uh, Monday, I'm taking a pivot, I'm taking my YouTube channel somewhere else. Be I'm there. gonna say I, I can't. I, oh, I got a joke, but I can't say it on here. I'll say it afterwards. <laughs> Tell me later. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Colleen's golfing Rex. Exactly. Pro golfer. Bubble walk. You know, we kid, but what if you do that for reals, just for the shits and giggles, and you get like five hundred thousand viewers, <laughs> and you get the 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 plaque and and uh, legit YouTube status and all that. You know, they came for a good time, and that's what they'll get. Yeah. Uh, insufferable omnibus collector, where can people find you when you're not dying over there out of uh work all day <laughs> in the sun? I, I'm I'm burnt, like I'm pink. Look at me, I'm dead. I'm pink and dead. You gotta watch out for that. Get some sunblock. I, I did. I just the first I forgot to grab it and put it in the golf cart until our first break for the day. So I spent a couple hours with sun on my face. I was I was most I had long sleeves pants jacket like it was cold in the morning so I had a, I had a coat on and I had gloves on and it was literally just my face. Um, the omnibus collector on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and uh, Omni Collector on Twitter. Sorry, there you go. Uh, you can find uh, Kogori Kogoro. Uh, I, I'm so sorry, we're we're wrapping up. But it's it's two it's a two hour stream. If you can go back and tolerate us, you'll have you're gonna have a fun time and watching the replay. To tolerate. Uh, you can find my channel, Manga Geekdom, where I talk about all the manga that I'm reading and highlighting all the releases and all that stuff. I have a Discord. Uh, James put the link somewhere. Uh, here it is. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. And you can find me on social media, Threads, Blue Sky, and Twitter. You can chat with me there, Manga Geekdom. I do appreciate it. Just posted a reading vlog recently. That's going to be it. Thank you, everybody. God bless. Stay safe out there. Have a great weekend. Uh, we'll be back on Monday for Hall's Previews Reads, and then on Wednesday for a comic episode, and then we'll be back next Thursday with some comic or some manga solicits that we missed uh, for the past few weeks and some first impressions, all the goofs and gaffes that you know and love. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you to our sponsor. Thank you to the chat. You guys are lovely as always. Hit the like button on your way out. It means a ton. And uh, that's it. Stay safe. Catch you on the next stream.